In the previous video, we discussed about the overview of translation. Now, in this video, we will be discussing about the enzymes or factors in prokaryotic translation. In prokaryotic translation, first important molecule is the mRNA molecule. That is the messenger RNA. This messenger RNA provides the codons for amino acids to be incorporated into the chain. mRNA is the messenger RNA as it brings message or information from DNA molecule during the process of transcription as shown in the diagram. Then this information which is present now with mRNA molecule is transported into the protein during the process of translation as shown in the diagram where codons code for specific amino acids which later on form the proteins. Then we have the tRNA molecule which is the transfer RNA. It has complementary anticodons for mRNA codons with which it brings accurate amino acids to the growing chain in the ribosome. Another important thing to consider in prokaryotes is the first amino acid which is the N-formyl methionine that's FMET. It's a modified methionine in which the formyl group has been added to amino acid and for that to occur we have the enzyme methionyl tRNA formyl transferase which catalyzes the addition of formyl group to the methionine and most important of all is the ribosome which is the site of translation this ribosome has diverse functions and to sum up precisely the small unit holds up the mRNA molecule and larger unit shows the peptidyl transferase activity, thus acting as a ribozyme also. Now let's see the factors of prokaryotic translation. First we have the initiation factors in prokaryotes as initiation factor 1, initiation factor 2 and initiation factor 3. The initiation factor 1 prevents premature entry of tRNA into A site of ribosome. Here in this diagram we can see the IF1 gets attached to the 30th subunit of ribosome. Second is the IF2 that's initiation factor 2. It regulates and directs the initiator tRNA to its correct position in the initiator complex. This IF2 binds tRNA molecule and then takes tRNA molecule to the 30th subunit of ribosome. Third is the initiation factor 3 which functions to prevent the premature association of ribosomal units. And it also functions as a fidelity factor for AUG codon recognition. Now let's get to the elongation factors. The prokaryotes have four elongation factors for translation. EFTU, EFTS, EFG and EFP. The EFTU is the elongation factor thermounstable. This factor mediates the entry of amino acid tRNA into the pre site of ribosome. Whereas EFTS, which is the thermostable elongation factor, it serves as the Gauni nucleotide exchange factor for EFTU. Then we have the EFG factor. This elongation factor catalyzes the translocation of tRNA and mRNA down the ribosome. That's why it is also known by the name of translocase. This EFG factor has another important function at the end of translation. It aids in the ribosomal disassembly after translation termination. And finally, we have the EFP, which is required for peptide bond formation between amino acids. Furthermore, in the translation process of prokaryotes, we have the release factors. These release factors allows for the termination of translation by recognizing the termination codons or stop codons in the mRNA sequence. There are two class of release factors, class 1 and class 2. The class 1 consists of RF1 and RF2 whereas class 1 consists of only release factor 3. The release factor 1 recognizes two stop codons, UAA and UAG. The release factor 2 also recognizes two stop codons, the UAA and UGA. And from class 2, we have the release factor 3 only, which is a GTPase protein that enhances activity of class 1 release factors. So this concludes the components of prokaryotic translation. But we also need some factors after the translation has been terminated. We need to dissociate two subunits of ribosomes. And for that we need some factors. Like we need ribosomal recycling factor RRF. And also we need elongation factor G. Both these proteins mediate the dissociation of ribosomal subunits after translation has been terminated. 
So these are the factors, enzymes and components of the prokaryotic translation. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.